Uh, hello, everybody. It's so crazy hot down here in Louisiana now. I'm moving into indoor projects, and Amazon brought this. So let's have a look and work inside today. I hope you like that new opening title screen. I've been working, spending a lot of time actually on that. And of course I did the do-it-yourself little music as well. So this is a cedar shoe rack from Amazon. Hold on a second, let me check the price on this. Okay, so this, it looks like they've raised the price on this. This is $99.49 now. This is the, uh, what brand is this? Household Essentials Cedar Fresh Two-Tier Cedar Shoe Rack and Seat Bench. Yes, yeah, so I've really been falling in love with cedar uh, in closets lately. And so, so I went out looking around and this one had a seat on it. So I thought that would be a little extra. Well, the reason I'd pay just a little bit more for a shoe rack. So the assembly on this is, is pretty straightforward and the construction looks good. Uh, you, you can see it. Well, it's very ar aromatic. I mean, I was just loving putting this together. Um, it's, it's probably not enough room between the shelves for, you know, tall shoes. Certainly not enough for boots. I mean, you could put the boots on top, but uh, it's really more for like sneakers and loafers, that kind of thing. Um, but, you know, for that, it's pretty good. And the assembly was, was really easy. You can see, I mean, that, that may look a little bit intimidating, but it, it's, it's not that bad. Uh, the, the instructions are a, a single sheet, just one side. Uh, basically, you just put the side rails on with the screws and then put the top on. And then there's some little plastic pieces to cover up the screws. They, they all go in with a little Allen wrench and they included an Allen wrench. So let's just speed through the assembly so you can see what you'd be doing if you were to purchase one of these yourselves. So just just separating the pieces out, right? That's kind of standard uh, assembly 101. Um, you know, and you don't need a you don't need a power uh, driver for this, but it you know power driver just make everything easier. Um, one thing is, is you know don't use your power driver to drive those in too tight. Uh, I've always found it's best to just get them pretty close and then tighten them down the last little bit by hand. Um, th these these power drivers you can so easily strip things out so I've got the shelves on there now put the top on and these it's bolts that hold the top on with nuts and lock washers you see I just use my little nylon hammer to tap those I use a, a little Phillips screwdriver to align them I tap those on uh, tighten them down uh, and boom that that's really the assembly there's some little plastic uh, pieces to cover up the screw heads and uh, probably probably less than an hour to, to do this uh, and you can see it, it look, feels pretty sturdy it's relatively lightweight I think it's, it'd be easy to, you know to move around uh, you know probably if you've got wooden floors like I do you want to put little felt pads on it so uh, you can move it around without scratching your floors uh, that's just, oh, just some final tightening there. After I was sure everything was okay, you know, I brought that down. And, and you can see there I'm using a hand tool for that final part and putting in the little plastic caps. Well, what I mean a final part is the final tightening so that I don't over-tighten them and strip out the, the screws. You know, cedar's a very soft wood. I, I'm sure you've heard me say that on other videos. You've got, you have to be careful with it. I mean, that big gazebo I'm building is, is out of cedar and uh, you know, easily strip out the screws on that. So there it is. Uh, and you can see this, the, the, the distance between the shelves really are okay for maybe a, you know, a high top sneaker or something, but certainly not a, not a boot. 
Uh, I, I think you could you could put some moderately high heels on there. Um, anyway, let's uh, let's uh, take it inside and have a look at it in the, in its space. So you know, so I got something that would fit in this space, and uh, now just uh, takes a little small tennis shoe like things put in there. You can see how they fit. So it'll hold, you know, six, eight shoes. And now for the real test, that's that's 200 pounds going down there. And he knows I, I, I don't know that if I were 250, I'd sit on this. But, but it seems to, it seems okay at, at my weight. Uh, I'm going. Of course, I'm going to go easy on it. Anyway, thank you everybody for watching. Oh, please be sure to like and subscribe. Take care.